I think China's uh, reached a point now where it's on the verge of a new kind of modernization in in a range of different respects. I mean, economically, uh, clearly China is now uh, in some ways on a par or not far behind the United States. And so one of the uh, key uh, proposals in uh, uh, President Xi's speech is the idea of a new kind of modernization. Now, what does that mean? Uh, well, I think it, it, it's, it essentially recognizes two things. The first thing, which we've been talking about, and I won't uh, spend a lot of time on, but the importance of a peaceful environment, a pe uh, the China's peaceful relationship with the world. China's always required this because it's been, its history ever since British Industrial Revolution has been so marked by war and aggression against it. So it's absolutely critical for China. But the point I want to emphasize here is one particular aspect, which is common prosperity. And that is the difficulty with modernization, basically, for a long time, has been uh, largely influenced by the American model. Um, and part of that American model, a key aspect, has been very great inequality. And China also, uh, in, uh, until recently, uh, had, well, still has a, a high level of inequality. And I think that common prosperity is about addressing this. So why should modernization be... Uh, synonymous in some respects with inequality. And I think uh, by challenging this and uh, making this a priority, not just growth, but a, a degree of equality uh, as a central uh, part of uh, China's approach, I think is really important because it's not just relevant for China. You see, uh, global, uh, under uh, American style globalization, inequality spread across virtually all societies. Now, if China can reverse that process and create a much more uh, equitable environment in its own country, I mm. think this will have a very big impact around yeah. the world. A new kind, kind of modernization is inclusive. It's not exclusive. Right. It creates yeah. a new kind of harmony, not yeah. disharmony. And I think this is a very important possibility and message from the Congress.